A few years ago, after driving the new Mercedes Maybach S600, we joked, with a kind of sanguine hope, that the next Maybach branded vehicle would be an extended wheelbase, G65, Landau let the recent release of the stretched, blown, recumbently seated, half convertible G650 proved that we weren't far off this either demonstrates our preternatural psychic powers, or the eminent predictability of the contemporary global super-rich, they want to be ruthless, rested, and topless. The arrival of the E-Class Cabrio, which has a much more moderate if still exclusive-ish price point, is similarly predictable, if positioned quite differently it exists to fill in Mercedes 3x3 car lineup, giving Benz a sedan, coupe, and convertible in each of three sizes, C, E, and as things were far less predictable 25 years ago when Mercedes took a risk and chopped the top off the indefatigable and sublimely angular W124 coupe. At that time, in the early 90s, the convertible market was considered moribund, the victim of new safety rollover regulations and the incipient threat of a soft top ban in the US. The three-pointed stars lineup of retractable roofs had dwindled to one. The SL Roadster We are now in a golden age of Benz convertibles would you believe it if we told you that the brand makes seven? In addition to the aforementioned C, E, S, and Lunatic G, there's the SLC, SL, and GT. This is more than any other contemporary manufacturer by a wide margin. Why? Well, as the brand's head of product planning told us, because people love them people reward themselves with a convertible. And the Mercedes-Benz brand exists firmly in the reward paradigm the car is suitably rewarding, and excels especially in being precisely what an E-Class convertible should be this means not quite as sporty as its smaller brother the C-Class Cabrio and not quite as stately as its older brother the S-Class Cabrio to wit. Every other Benz convertible can be had with an AMG motor either for blistering performance or sheer profligacy, or both.